Question 12, we're asked to find to the nearest cent that, need, that which needs to be invested at a rate of 5% to give 20,500 in five years time. So let's say this number that we invest is X. If we multiply it by 1.055% at five years, it's gonna end up as 20,500. So if we divide by 1.05, 2500 divide by 1.05 to the power of 5 and we'll get our answer it's going to be 16062 to the nearest cent we'll do it to the nearest cent yeah 29 and then the amount to the nearest cent that needs to be invested at a rate of 4.2 percent so it's the same question x by 1.04 will be 4 percent 4.2 percent six years that's going to equal 102 500 so the amount of money invested will be the end amount divided by one plus the interest rate to the power of t which is years so x in this case eighty oh seven eight eighty eighty oh seven eight eighty now we have Dermot who would like to invest five thousand for two years so you have a rate of three percent for the first year and a higher rate for the second year if the money is retained in the account so there's a lot going on tax of 27 deducted each year okay at the end of year one we have five thousand by one plus the interest rate and that's going to give five thousand one hundred and fifty fifty will be one percent so 150 be three percent so 20 percent deducted each year from the interest so 150 we're going to be left with 73 percent if we deduct 27 so 150 by 73 percent is equal to 10950 so he's going to have 5,109.50 left at the end of year one. Derm calculates after tax has been deducted, his investment will be worth this much at the end of the second year. After tax has been deducted, it will be worth 5,296. Exactly. So we're looking for the rate of interest for the second year. So 5296, if we take away the 510950, we'll see how much he has gone up by. So he has gone up by 18650. That 18650 is 73% of what he went up by. So if we divide 18650 by 73 and multiply it by 100, we'll find out how much interest he earned. So he would have earned 255.479, we'll go 0.48. So that's the interest before tax. So he earned 255.48. He started with 510950. And if we put one over the other and times it by 100, we'll get the interest rate. So that would be 5% or 5.00 and then a, an 8 way down the decimal, so 5% for question 14. And question 15, Norma has 7290 in her bank. This is after two years, which 8% was added at the end of each year. So X, the amount that she invested, by 1.08 to the power of two inside or outside the bracket is equal to seven two nine oh so if you practice these questions they'd be really really easy if you don't very hard to work backwards when you're not sure what to do so the amount that she would invest to get seven two nine now after two years eight percent look like this that works out to be six two five oh euros 
Then we have Alan paying income tax and PRSI on his gross wages, and his gross weekly wages are 510. So he pays income at a rate of 20% and tax credit of 63. Okay, 510. He loses 20% of it. Which is 102. And his tax credits are 63, so he doesn't pay 102. We take 63 from 102, we're going to get 39. So that's how much income tax he pays, 39. And I'll have to read this question a couple of times just to make sure it's as easy as it seems. He also pays PRSI and his weekly deductions are 76.92. So we just need to take away 39, which would leave 37. 92 for PRSI and in question 17 2500 invested three years compounded annually 4% per annum for the first year and 3% for the second year so we're asked the amount of the investment after two years so starting with 2500 2% Oh, four percent in the first year so we're multiplying by 1.04 and then we don't need that answer three percent in the second year by 1.03 that's two six seven eight and then it amounts to two seven four four ninety five after three years the rate of interest so how much interest have we earned two seven four four ninety five We're going to get looks like sixty six ninety five interest. So sixty six ninety five divided by what we started with, which was two six seven eight times one hundred gives two point five percent for the third year. 